Hi, Trackaby offers a wide range of features, but it's essential to configure it to suit your specific needs. In this video, we'll guide you through creating a new organization account and explore the key settings to help you get started efficiently. First, you need to create your personal account. In this form, provide your email address and confirm it using the link sent to you by the system. Enter your first name, second name, and choose a password. Now, let's register a new organization. Enter your company's name. The system automatically suggests a subdomain name, which you can change if you wish. Your account is now ready, but don't skip this setup wizard. It will help you choose the right settings depending on how you plan to use the system. First, decide if you need to monitor your team's activity. There are several levels of employee monitoring available. The liberal level means there shouldn't be any monitoring. Users will still be able to track their time using the desktop app if they wish, and even track their activity if it helps them prepare better time reports. The moderate level enables user monitoring in the desktop timer application. However, users may still use the web timer and add or edit their time entries manually. You can use this level if you don't want to enforce monitoring, but maybe you want to encourage people with some perks to use the desktop app with monitoring enabled. The strict level requires users to track their time with the help of the desktop app, which monitors their activity, captures screenshots, and records used apps and URLs. In this case, adding or editing time manually, using the web, or using mobile timers will be disabled. Note that you will not be able to find these levels later in the settings because each one is a collection of options. However, you will be able to edit them individually. On top of that, you can adjust them for specific users through user roles. Let's proceed to the next step. Here, you can choose if you want the system to alert users if they have less time than required on a certain day. You can also choose to lock timesheets older than 7 days. You can change the number of days later. Now, you can invite people to your account. You should enter their email addresses and select their roles in the system. After the invites are sent, they have to accept the invitations, and the system will create accounts for them. You are all set now. However, it's advisable to review your account settings, Check user roles and add your clients and projects to ensure everything aligns with your business workflow. Remember to check out our desktop and mobile apps as well. Let's quickly go through some of the most important account settings. Company profile allows changing the company name, logo, address, and some other details. They are used, for example, in reports and invoices. Subscription is where you can select your subscription plan and the number of users you need. In general settings, you can set your time zone, rates, and annual employee leave allowance. Time tracking is an important section where you can find settings related to time tracking and employee monitoring. Productivity settings allow you to choose how to track productive and unproductive applications and create rules that define which apps are productive and which are not. Timesheet settings allow you to choose what data fields, columns, are available in the user timesheets. Here. You can also decide what data should be mandatory and what should be visible to managers only. Additionally, you can add custom data fields. Time types allow you to manage a list of special time types, such as overtime, weekend work, etc. Here, you can also set different wage and billable rate coefficients. For example, if you pay 50% more for overtime, you can set a 1.5 wage coefficient for the overtime type. The system will apply this coefficient to all wages earned for overtime work. Working days is the section where you choose which days of the week are working in your company. Public holidays is the list of public holidays. You need this to help the system correctly control the minimal required time logged, vacations, etc. Leave types is the list of different types of leaves you can use in the leave planner. For example, vacation, sickness, and so on. In the user interface section, you can select a different user interface theme. Note that the dark theme settings can be changed on the user account level. Also, check the default user roles. They can be used to override some of the account level settings and choose what data users may have access to. Via the roles, for example, you can allow or disallow using the web and mobile timers. In addition to using the web interface, remember to install both the desktop and mobile applications for time tracking. The desktop app is a convenient way to log time worked. It can also monitor user activity on a desktop. 
Meanwhile, the mobile app can be used for GPS location tracking and managing personal leave schedules. Additionally, you can use the mobile app to review the team's insights data. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.